So this is a Blake Shores model 8404 AC DC field hall effect measurement system that was developed in collaboration with Toyo Corporation of Japan. And this system is very unique in that it uh, has an AC field measurement technique that provides for carrier mobility determinations to as low as 0.001 centimeters squared per second, which is approximately 1,000 times lower than is possible using traditional DC field techniques. So this system is utilized to characterize the electronic transport properties of materials, uh, specifically semiconductors, over a very, very broad range of temperatures, extending from below 15 Kelvin to as high as 1,000 degrees C. So in a moment, we're going to uh, look at the differences between AC and DC field Hall effect measurement techniques. So in a Hall effect measurement, an applied magnetic field D is oriented uh, perpendicular to the surface of a sample, and a current I is injected into the sample, and the charge carriers experience a Lorentz force, which causes them to migrate along these paths shown here such that you have a net accumulation of positive charge on one side of the sample and negative charge on the other side of the sample and this potential difference is referred to as the Hall voltage. Okay, so uh, many current materials of interest have very, very low mobilities that are difficult if not impossible to measure using traditional DC field techniques. So these include uh, materials for green energy applications such as uh, photovoltaic materials, uh, for example, solar cells, thermoelectric materials. Uh, these are things like transparent conducting oxides, amorphous silicon, uh, SIGs. These typically have mobilities ranging from about 10 to the minus 3 centimeters squared volt second on the low end up to about 10 on the high end. Uh, materials for new display technologies. Uh, these are typically transparent conducting oxide materials, uh, for example, indium gallium zinc oxide, zinc oxide. These have mobilities on the low end uh, that are on the order of about one, up to a few, few hundred on the high end. And then lastly, we have the emerging class of organic electronic uh, materials that are of interest because they're lighter, uh, they're more flexible, and they're cheaper to produce than conventional inorganic materials. Uh, so these are things like organic LEDs, organic FETs, organic thin film transistors, and these typically have very, very low mobilities, ranging from uh, less than 10 to the minus 3 on the low end, up to about 1 on the high end. Okay, so uh, Lakeshore's new 8400 series Hall effect measurement systems are capable of doing both uh, DC field uh, measurements and a new novel AC field uh, technique. Now, in a DC field technique, uh, as I mentioned previously, it can be very difficult to measure very, very low mobility. So why? Okay, well, the reason why is as follows. The voltage that you measure, V sub M, is equal to the Hall voltage. This is what you want, but there are also offset voltages present. And the principal uh, contributions to this offset voltage are a misalignment voltage and a thermoelectric voltage. The misalignment voltage is due to misalignment in the point contacts on the sample, and this can be removed by using field reversal. And then the thermoelectric voltage is due to the fact that you have uh, metallic contacts uh, on top of a semiconductor, and these dissimilar materials give rise to a thermoelectric voltage. And this can be removed using current reversal. However, for very low mobility materials, the Hall voltage is considerably small in comparison to these offset voltages. So it can be very difficult to extract this very small Hall voltage from this very large background voltage. And consequently, this means it's very difficult to measure mobilities less than about one centimeter squared volt second. Okay, so in the AC field technique, what we do is we vary the magnetic field sinusoidally at a few tenths of a hertz. And in this case, the Hall voltage has both an AC term and a DC term, where the DC term is, again, uh, the misalignment and thermoelectric voltages that we discussed previously. But these two terms can be separated using a lock in the amplifier, and what this does is provide vastly superior resolution in the Hall voltage measurement, which in turn equates to much better resolution in the mobility determination. And in fact, using this AC field technique, we can measure mobilities as low well as 0.001 centimeters squared volt second, uh, which is approximately 1,000 times 
lower than is possible using traditional DC field techniques.